This fourth chamber, myogenic, amazing blood pumping station of our body is circulating blood throughout the organs, throughout the tissue in a directed manner. Now, it's showing involuntary rhythmic movement because of cardiac muscle. Now, when it's showing contraction and relaxation, contraction, systole, diastole, systole, diastole, is having a threat of getting damaged, is having a threat of overfilling of blood. Now, how it gonna protect itself? So, Almighty has protected our heart with a pericardium. Pericardium. Now, we'll see. This is the outer covering pericardium. The outermost layer of pericardium is a fibrous layer made up of dense irregular connective tissue and a bit of areolar tissue. If you fill up this layer, we are going to get outer serous layer or parietal serous layer which is made up of squamous cells. Okay? Second layer of pericardium. If we fill up this outer serous layer also, we are going to get pericardial fluid pericardial fluid which is a kind of a lymph and the volume of this fluid is 10 to 50 ml and you need to remember this is very much important uh, fluid as because it's acting as a shock absorber now pericardial fluid under pericardial fluid inner serous layer or visceral serous layer will be taking bath again serous layer means mainly squamous cells and if you fill off this inner serous layer, we are going to get our beautiful heart. One thing to remember, this inner serous layer, inner serous layer is equivalent to epicardium. Inner serous layer is also, you can call it epicardium. Now, uh, like the next layer of epicardium inside the heart, we have muscular layer, myocardium and the innermost layer, which is made up of tessellated epithelium against squamous epithelium that is endocardium 